Paso family is mourning the death of their teenage son after he was burned alive following a car crash in Far East El Paso. Police say there were three teenagers in the car, including the survivor's 14 year old driver, a 14 year old driver and a 13 year old girl. Officials say they left the scene. ABC 7's Rosemary Montanez learned more about the teen who was killed, and she joins us live from the scene where the crash happened. Rosemary. Stephanie, right behind me is where that crash happened. You can see some of the burn marks that remain on this street, and there's also glass that is shattered remaining throughout portion of this Pebble Hill Street. I spoke with the parents of that 17 year old who was killed on Saturday night. They say they would have never imagined their son would have died like this. This video ABC 7 obtained captures the last moments of Saul Castro's young life. Later that Saturday evening, police said the car he was riding in was involved in a deadly and fiery crash. <laughs> Catalina and Solomon Castro are heartbroken after the death of their son. Uh, amigable. They describe him as friendly, loved by all, and always helping others. Officials say on Saturday, the 14 year old driver of that stolen vehicle was speeding and lost control. The vehicle burst into flames and when police arrived, only the body of Saul remained. Catalina says she saw her son that night. He went out like usual. I gave him a kiss. He said, mom, I'll come right now. And I know he's going to come back. I am waiting for him. I am waiting for him to come back because he told me he was coming. Police say the driver and the female passenger left the scene. Catalina says she is furious. <laughs> he was trapped. No one was able to help him. Imagine the pain that he was suffering there alone. I don't want to imagine. If roles were reversed, he would have helped his friend. Story officials tell us that this crash is still under investigation. As for those other two teens, they also received severe burn injuries. Officials say they were flown to Lubbock Burn Center where they got treatment. If you would like to help out the Castro family, we have set up that link to that GoFundMe on our website, kbia.com. For now, reporting in the East Side, Rosemary Montañez, ABC 7. All right, ABC Rose 7. All right Rosemary.